bash this woman. I'm not here to come down on this woman. I'm not here to disrespect her or throw her under the bus, but it comes to a certain standpoint where I just can't let my character be assassinated for things that are not even really true, like, and, and for falsified narratives and information. Let's start this off. When the original, original uh, a report came out and it was a TMZ report about this, that, and the third, and there was gunshots and Kylie Jenner's house and Tory Lanez goes to jail. They gave y'all all the facts of the juice of Tory Lanez going to jail and this, that, and the third and Megan getting arrested and da, 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 da. Two days after that, I get a call from Rock Nation that says, yo, we heard you're gonna make a statement about what happened and it'd be in your best interest if you don't make that statement. So I'm like, oh, okay. I don't understand what the issue of me telling my fans like, yo, look, it's not that serious of a deal. I went to jail for whatever this is like, I don't get, I didn't get for that two days why that was an is, uh, or issue. Two days later, the TMZ report come out. TMZ reports and have the surveillance now. Now they see the video of the arrest. You see Megan, you see me, and you see it's all sprawled out on the ground in, in bathing suits and, and blah, blah, blah. And everything I'm saying is, is public record. You can go back and look at this. You can go back and, and see it. Like, you feel me? So they say, oh, okay. You know, um, the, the, you see her out of the car, she's getting out of the car, she's hopping, it looks bad, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I felt bad watching it because it made her look bad and it didn't make her look good. It didn't make any of us look good. And I didn't want that for her, I don't see that for anybody. So all of a sudden, when we get arrested, or when it looks like we all got arrested, the memes start. Now I wanna really bring you guys in for a second so you can understand something. And I really just want you to take this in, like, she is a person I spent enough time with her to observe and understand something about her where it's like she's going through a lot she goes through a lot she deals with a lot on her day-to-day -day basis and because of that she's not used to you know and not even just because of that but just because of the fact that she's been praised so much we've always looked at her as like yo that's our, that's hip-hop sweetheart like she's she's nice she's talented whatever the case is cool and because of that like we've 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 never seen a moment where the memes have come at her where the memes are like, yo, nigga, let's laugh at your pain. Ah, ha, 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 She's never had to deal with that because she's always been praised. So everything that's been happening has been a reaction off of what's been going on. So it gets down to this point now where it's like, now the, 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 the reports are starting to say, okay, well, everyone's pointing to different things. No one really knows what's happened, but nobody has ever said she got shot. Nobody has ever said she got shot. Not TMZ, not the police report at this point. Nothing is saying that she got shot. Soon as she sees herself on video with the bikini and the things like that, and it looks bad, she then comes out and says, yo, the narrative of me getting cut by glass, it's just not true. She doesn't point at nobody or anybody or say anything or anything like that. She just says the narrative that whatever came out of me being cut by glass is not true. I was shot in my feet with the intention to harm me and put uh, harm and danger upon me, right? So, okay, cool. Like, all of a sudden, the affiliates of her circle start pointing, like, little subliminal fingers, like, count your days, and, like, I won't be around, and he's shooting at feet, and, like, little funny things that they start doing, and I'm kind of like, damn, hold on, where are y'all about to take this? Because y'all told me not to make a statement. That's why I say Jay-Z's part of the evil industry. So I'm, under I'm trying to figure out where y'all, where y'all taking me to, I don't, I don't get it. So, then, the, uh, at, at this point she goes, she goes live because people are not really understanding the story or whatever cases. She waits, she doesn't go on, you know, a time when it's just a regular time. For y'all who don't understand, it was one of those things where me and her knew what was going on, but y'all didn't know what was going on. She went live on my birthday. With all, and then she says, yo, you know, um, and the thing about the whole jury thing is, is like, she, my bad, she knew that it wasn't a situation where, um, like, she knew she had to do certain sympathetic things, I, I guess, to push the narrative. And I don't know who told her to do certain things like that. And I'm not the one who's trying to, like, ever point the finger at anybody. But when it really comes down to it, it's like, you went on live on your birthday and then you said, on my birthday, and then you said, I got shot in my foot and it didn't hit no bones or tendons. So everybody's looking at this. And again, the Internet is a sick place. We people need to stick together instead of tearing each other down. The